Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be sewing a, an easy scrappy Christmas stocking and these are the materials you'll need. You need to print out and assemble your stocking pattern piece and you'll need two pieces of fleece or a low loft batting. You'll need some fabric for the lining and then either some fabric scraps or if you have one a Christmas jelly roll or in fact any jelly roll which has got some nice bright colours or just long strips of scrap fabric and some fake fur like this one. So the first thing to do once you've assembled the pattern is to use it to cut out two pieces of batting or fleece. Remember to cut one with the toe facing one direction and the other one as the reverse so that they'll be opposites. And if you look here, I've just cut my fleece or batting about an inch or so outside the pattern all the way around. This gives us a little bit of space to work with if our strips go a little bit skew or are cut a little bit too short and means that we can cut the pattern out accurately later on. So cut the fleece first of all. Once you have your fleece cut out, you then need to audition your strips. So underneath here, I actually have my piece of fleece and I've cut my fabric strips and I've just laid them out how I'd like them to work on my pattern. Obviously it looks a bit of a funny shape, but of course when we put our pattern piece on the top, it'll enable us to cut out um, a pattern with the stripes already cut in it later on. So we'll do that first of all, and once you've got all of your strips laid out, then we need to just start from a center two. So I've taken off all my other strips and just been careful to keep them in order, and I've placed those top and bottom, and been left with these center two strips, and these ones I'm gonna place face together. So if I take the second one, put it on top of the first and match those raw edges. My first seam will be along here where the two meet and we'll just sew a quarter inch seam and it will join these two pieces together and it will also at the same time join them to the fleece for the backing. So our first two strips are now sewn and if you open them out and give them a press, there we go, like that. So we can now work either up or down, doesn't matter which, and you'll take the next strip off your pile and lie it face down matching the right sides and matching the raw edges and sew this one with a quarter inch seam and as you turn that one out you press again and so on and once that one is done you take the next strip off your pile again so that one with a quarter inch seam and so on and as you go you'll work all the way down to the bottom and then work on this side all the way up to the top until all of your strips are sewn onto the backing. So I finished stitching all my strips on. This is what it looks like from the back. Here are all the seams where the fabric is stitched in place. And that's what it looks like from the front. Now, if you know any fancy quilting, I have a fancy quilting machine, then you can do um, whatever quilting design you like. Uh, I'm just gonna follow the seams on mine and just do a few lines of quilting parallel to all of these strips as it goes from top to bottom. It'll just make it a little bit more sturdy. Also make it feel like it has a little bit more quality to it too. So I'll ca carry out that with my machine and then show you what that looks like. So here's my piece now with the quilting stitches completed. You take a look closely, you can just see them here. I've got a couple of decorative stitches on my machine which work well for this kind of thing so it looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is because my machine did all of that for me. So that's our first piece completed and now we're going to put that to one side, take our second piece and do exactly the same with this one. Start in the centre and work to the top on the bottom, add in the strips and then quilt them. Once your piece is fully quilted going to take your pattern and pin it to the back. You'll probably find it easier to pin to the back than to the front because you can then see exactly where your stitches and your, um, your fleece is. And cut out two pieces, of course one facing one way, one the other. And then your piece once cut out will look like this. And you're now ready to start sewing the stocking, stocking together. So once you have both pieces cut out from your pattern, place them right sides together and pin and then stitch all the way around the outside, but of course not the top because we'll be leaving the top open. So you'll pin and stitch all the way around this part and leave the top open. So our stocking's now sewn and where we have the curved areas around here, if you can just see, I've clipped into this seam allowance 
around all of these curved parts and this when we turn the stocking out is going to help these these curved seams sit a little flatter so now we can turn our stock in the right way out and we'll take it back to the ironing board and give it a press and our next step will be to work on the lining beautiful so now we're working on the lining and I've used the same pattern piece to cut two of my lining fabric. Use this jolly snowman print, put them right sides together and exactly the same as we did for the outer part, we need to sew around the outside and not sew the top. However, because we're going to be turning this inside out later, we need to leave a gap and I've just left a gap on the straight edge here. You can do it on the front or the back. As long as you leave a gap of four or five inches in the straight edge then you'll be able to turn the stocking inside out and then same as we did before just clip around all of your curved seams and now we'll start putting things together now it's time to add our fake fur strip i've cut my fake fur for four inches wide that's how much i want along the top like that and then i've just cut a strip which is enough to wrap around the top of my stocking and I'm going to sew it right sides together and just sew a narrow seam along here just to make a tube. So I've sewn my tube of fur and just at the back here where the seam is, take a moment just to pull all the bits that you've sewn out of the seam because that'll create a more fluffy look on the back. I'll do that off camera. And then this back seam, you'll match that with the back seam of your stocking. stocking and put the fur on around the top. Now if your fur has a nap, which means that the fur sits better in one direction than in the other, it's better to have the nap going downwards. That's going to look a bit nicer. And you'll line up the top of the fur with the top of the quilted edge of the stocking and pin and then just baste it in place. You can either just go around the top with a narrow seam with your machine or just quickly put a running stitch around with a needle and thread just to hold the fur in place. And next time we'll go and work on the lining. So now it's time to sew everything together and I've put the stocking down inside the lining. So the stocking, if you just have a look through the gap here, is right side out. The lining is right side in, so the two right sides are together. The fur obviously around the top and I've matched the top two edges. So this is what it looks like with the uh, main part of the stocking on the inside. So that's all pinned. We use plenty of pins around this top part. And now we need to just put a, a ribbon for hanging. So I like mine nice and long. So I'm just going to put a long piece of ribbon like that. And we need to place it at the back here at the centre seam with the ribbon facing down. But it needs to be on the inside so that it's between the fur and the lining. So I'll just take out a couple of pins. And I'm going to pop that down inside there at the back centre seam. Make sure it's straight. And then I'll just pop my pins back in and that as we sew around that will catch the ribbon in there. You can leave a little bit hanging out so you can see where your ribbon is and then we'll sew. Our stocking is now looking great. I've completed the sewing around the top and just turned it the right way out. So now the lining is sticking out awkwardly at the top but that's fine because we have one thing left to do. We have to close this gap in the lining up here. So if you just pull it straight between the seams tuck in those raw edges and either slip stitch it closed with hat by hand or you can just cl um, close it close to the seam with a sewing machine and then pop your lining down inside. You'll have to poke your hand down inside and push the lining all the way down to the toe. There we go. And now your scrappy quilted Christmas stocking is completed. Thank you very much for following along with the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed making it and um, I look forward to seeing you maybe at So So Easy to check out some of our other sewing tutorials.